They were dirty deals that the All Progressive Congress leadership did. They were bad, APC source. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post our juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. A source in the All Progressive Congress, APC, has revealed how some members of the national leadership of the Sources Party were involved in some dirty deals and have been making moves to cover the discrepancies by causing crisis in the National Working Committee of the party. The source has said there are some dirty deals that some of the members of the national leadership did and to cover it, the former national vice president was posted as director of the department organizing department. On arrival, he started tracing some documents, especially in Niger, okay, in Niger, Benue, Taraba, and Nasarawa states. Their situation degenerated to almost a fisticuff during the last NWC meeting. They were bad that the national vice chairman. Northwest wrote a stinker to the national chairman, warning him of the implication of his actions concerning the matter. The source that made these revelations when he was talking about the purported crisis and the NWC of the APC, he began revealing how the national chairman, Senator Abdullahi Adamu, and the national secretary approached the Independent National Electoral Commission. INEC to request the change of access code to its portal. He said, Adamo and his cohort did this, and even though an organizing department of the APC has been set up for such issues, he revealed that the steps that were taken by members they were taken by the chairman because some members of the national leadership were involved in some dirty deals. Now this is um, APC Wahalabi. Uh-uh, no problem. APC and PDP, just bring out your do it in. Just bring out your shield zobo. A lot is going to be happening. With these remaining few, permit me to use the word days, before the election, a lot is going to be going on. Be prepared to hear a lot. But unfortunately, as the country we are in, I'm not expecting anything to be done, even when. Even when this thing's exposed during the election. We are not surprised. Exactly. We are not surprised. These folks are really true to type. Rotten to the core. Okay. Is Alec now taking instructions from me as a party? My dear, if you ask me now, eh? Now who are we going to ask now? All I'm going to say is Nigerians, make we just look these people like. We said they call Dijiri. You know when you go just look person, person go just do anyhow. But what you want to do in your mind? That look now, just they do, just they do your own. You understand? I believe by now we are we all have people who have chosen, who we have chosen to vote for. I believe by now we have all. If you are by this time still waiting for anybody to blow a trumpet or to ring a bell and tell you, oh, this is who you are going to be voting for, then you are in a long thing. I believe by now you have made up your mind. This is a candidate, whether you are a member of any party or not. I believe by now you have made up a your your what's it called your mind on the candidate you're going to be voting for and you have said you vote for that candidate hmm? except you have not gotten your pvc yet all efforts of the northern to pv for a tipu will feel need to be handed over to buhari also it's a bad signal to other tribes in the country for fulani to hand over to fulani is going to be a slap disgrace to other tribes in the country and offers enough for fulani dominance in the country what are you going to say about the muslim Muslim presidency Buhari is a Muslim and Sirimbo is running me it's also Muslims. Don't you see anything wrong in that? That is why I keep saying, if you ask me, APC do not have a moral, you know, they have the moral rights to come out and start saying, um, and uh, uh, what's it called? Atiku is a Fulani and so also, PDP do not have the moral right to come out and say, oh, um, what's it called? Sirimbo uh, is running the Muslim Muslim ticket because both of them are supposed to correct each other. If one corrects each other now as a person, they say, here you must demand for or come to a pity, you must come with clean hands. Your hands must be clean. But alas, APC and PDP, your mm. hands are actually mm. not clean. So the thing is, um, none of them have the right to come out and none of them. None of them. None. If you're talking about a party here, eh, people who are not supposed to be in the race, we're going to talk about PDP that fielded a nothing candidate. 
I mean, they should have fielded somebody else. I keep saying that the PDP, they, 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 they use their hands to scatter their own, as in they shoot themselves, every part of their body. You know when they say you mistakenly shoot yourself for leg, you can't shoot yourself for hand, you can't shoot yourself for belly, you just the mistake, they just they release bullets inside your own body. No the person they do them for you, now you they do them. No person PDP do. Uh, um, how many days ago, or how many, uh, uh, two years ago, just two years, late 2021, if you go around, take a survey, ask people, take a microphone, you don't need to go too far. You see people telling you that they want to go back to, uh, what's it called, PDP era, where there was, you know, there was basic salary was 18,000, you know, and things were better, things were, things, this inflation was not this much, you were buying for 45 naira, you know, a bag of rice was not up to 40,000, it was, I think, 8,000 8, naira for a bag of, between 8, 10, 12 bag of rice. You can get a bag of rice for that amount. You can get half bag for, you know, 6,000 or 5,000 or thereabout. You can, you know, dollar, dollar to a naira was 198 to 200 naira. You know, those things. People would, but APC, I mean, but PDP, instead of coming out to field a southern candidate, they fielded a northern candidate. The thing said, the, the, the way with Nigeria, they think that no matter how we be, Nigeria will come back to them, but Nigeria can't shock them. Nigeria can't shock them, say no. You now have, unfortunately for PDP, you now have you know, another option. The same thing with Kwan Kwasu. Kwan Kwasu is also a northerner, a northern Muslim at that. He's not supposed to be in the race. I'm not saying you should come out and start saying they're not supposed to be in the race. So why don't we even say we should keep these people quiet? It is high time we start learning how to close our mouth. Look, we just look these people like, you know, look more. At the end of the day, eh, make our PVC do the talking. Okay. APC, we are not surprised. They are living up to their names, all past criminals. The plan the All Progressive Congress has for Nigeria are corruptions of all kinds, embezzlement, and looting of the Treasury. This is a serious national concern to Nigerians and independent national electoral empire. This change of protocol requested by the national chairman and co of the All Progressive Congress is a scheme to regain the planned election by going to cyberpunk and deleting the actual vote cast before. Announcement. Like I said, we day here. Oh. We day here. They look within they go on oh, Nigerians. Make no no green. Uh -huh. I've been saying, vote wisely and vote smartly. I think I have to include, vote smartly, because you have to be smart about your vote. Vote smartly, vote wisely, and defend your vote. It's not after voting you now. You're going to your house and sleep. Please. They dare me the encounter. They dare me the implode them. You understand? They dare me the encounter your vote. They dare me the implode them. So no super story. All heard what happened that. Was it at Oshun State? That they actually wanted people to go. And they were telling people they don't have data. But unfortunately, what happened was that, um, what happened was they actually, those people tell them, no, no, they go. They said, we share you that. And that was what happened. Well, Nigerians, they say, once beaten, twice shy. Make we, the smart, this time around. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come.